The port said east is east and west is west, and never the twain shall meet. And there was one time that Hawk Durango was in full agreement. That was when Susie Kimball came west to marry Nephi Thatcher. <laughs> Columbia Broadcasting System presents Hawk Durango, starring Elliot Lewis. Along the entire Butterfield stage route, no hotel was better known in the old days than the Gold Bar House in Sundown Wells. And Hawk Durango, its new owner, works hard to perpetuate the established for comfort and service. But sometimes the guests are difficult, like these two whom Chuckaluck is announcing right now. Hey, Hawk. Yeah? These two ladies coming into the lobby. No. Kind of trail-weary, judging from their voices. <laughs> there, you can see them now. Mm. Trail-weary is right. Get right down here, ladies. I'll send someone off to the shop and get your baggage. But we haven't decided whether to stay here or not. Oh, here's Mr. Durango now. Oh, oh welcome to the gold bar house, ma'am. Hmm. You miss? Yes. Uh, chuck a luck. Get a pitcher of water and glasses. Yeah, yeah. The stage driver said this was the best hotel in town. But I didn't know it would be like this. Oh, we'll make you comfortable, ma'am. How long are you going to stay? Oh, we've no idea. We're lost. Lost? Well, you're in Sundown Wells, ma'am. I know that. But he didn't meet us at the stage stop, as he said he would. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, now, Aunt Christina. Well, who, who did you say was to meet you, ma'am? Her bridegroom, Susie's bridegroom. He was here to take us to his ranch. We've come all the way from Vermont, and Nephi Thatcher didn't meet us. Nephi Thatcher? Well, he's one of the biggest men out here, ma'am. His ranch you're talking about, it's a sheep outfit up yonder in the big mesas. We know he's one of your biggest men and one of the richest. And Susie is going to marry him. But where is he, I'd like to know. Uh, uh Chuckaluck. Uh, yes, Hawk? Run over to the Wells Fargo office into the Livestock Loan Company. Now, that's where Mr. Thatcher generally hangs out, ma'am. Ask if there's any word of him. Yeah. I wouldn't worry, lady. He'll show up. For one thing, the stage got here ahead of schedule. Fine, how do you do? A bride comes 2,000 miles out of this God was it. What's that noise? Hmm? Well, that's music, ma'am. Coming from the casino in there. Music? For dancing? Yes, ma'am. And they drink in there, too, I suppose? Uh, well, most of them do. Susie, stop tapping your foot. Oh, it's a very tasty Maybe you'd like view. to rest up, ma'am, while you're waiting for Mr. Thatcher. I can fix you up with a room. No, thank you. I wouldn't think of staying a minute in a place where there's drinking and dancing. Well, you needn't fear, ma'am. In the old days, when the Butterfield stage ran through here, the gold bar house was pretty woolly. But now it's peaceful as a church picnic. Oh, oh. oh heavens above, what's that? Snoop! Go see what's up. Oh, going to be killed. Oh, it's just a little target practice, ma'am. We're having a rodeo. Oh, as I was saying, the Butterfield oh, stage oh, ran from Memphis. Oh, Mr. Down. Durango, my aunt. She fainted. Uh, oh, come on. we better get her upstairs to one of the bedrooms. Get the old lady bedded down, Hawk. Yeah, she's in the bridal suite. Young Philly was giving us smelling salts when I left. What was all that shooting about? Oh, Brasses was just fanning out a whiskey drummer. Mm. He got sore when the redhead made a remark about his ears. Everything's quiet now. I hope so, for the old lady's sake. Oh, but the young one, she didn't seem so gun-shy, considering. I'm sure sorry for that girl, if you ask me. Marrying up with Nephi Thatcher means the end of her good timing. She don't look like she ever had any good time. Uh, uh, did you see her tap her slippers when the band started playing? Yeah, I saw it. Kind of dancing inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as her eyes. Yeah, dancing is one thing Thatcher won't stand for. Worse than liquor. Oh, hold it, Snoopy. Shut up, Snoopy. Uh, hope your aunt will be all right, miss. Oh, well, all she needs is some rest. Uh, she said she wanted to sleep, so I, um, I thought I'd look around your hotel. Oh, you won't find much here to interest a girl like you, Miss Susie. Oh, well, what's in there? Oh, who are those men with the green shades sitting at the table? That's the gaming room, miss. You wouldn't like that. Oh, yes, I know. Gambling is wrong, and so is dancing. And music is wrong because it makes you want to dance. Hmm. You say that as if the words have been drummed into you, without sense. <laughs> drummed into me for four years, ever since Nehi Thatcher came east and proposed to me. But you don't believe dancing and music are wrong, huh? Well, I have to believe. <laughs> Except now for a few minutes while my aunt's resting. You mean your aunt's been sort of riding her on you? Uh, what does that mean? Well, it just means watching over you, seeing you don't get into trouble. Oh, 
Well, she's been riding herd on me ever since I was engaged, Mr. Drango. Oh, and music makes me think of the good times I've missed. I'm going into the casino. Oh, but I wouldn't do that, miss. A girl like you can't go in there. Oh, but there are a lot of girls in there. Well, they're just there to entertain the cowhands and mine muckers and such. They aren't the kind of girls you'd associate with. Oh, well, that doesn't make any difference. All right, then. It's not the girls, it's the men. They're a pretty salty bunch. Uh, yeah. that one standing over there with his back against the wall, shuffling a deck of cards. Hmm? He's strictly a desperado. Name of Brazos John. Oh, how old is he? Now, why should you be asking that? He looks younger than his face. His face is leathery and burned, but his eyes are like a boy's. Well, well, that's because he's a gunman. You see, they need sharp eyes to do his kind of shooting. Oh, I caught a glimpse of him when we first came in the hotel. Oh? I'll never forget it. The picture he made, slouching there, rolling a cigarette, with those two guns on his hips... It's a picture that we all have back east of the men in the prairies and the Rockies. I'm going to talk to him. Oh, wait. Wait, Miss Susie. Oh, no, wait. You can't talk to Brazos. Brazos, John? Hmm. Yes, ma'am? Uh... You may think it's strange by coming to speak to you, but I wanted to settle a question in my mind. Yes, sir? Where have I seen you before? Well, uh, have you been out west for long? Well, this is my first day this far west. Well, I ain't never been east of Texas. Oh, been south across the border off and on when things got to moving too fast, but huh, couldn't be there. That's funny. You look so familiar. Just a coincidence, I guess, ma'am. What are you doing with those cards? Oh, this? Mm -hmm. That's called cascading. You see, you take Oh, now I know. That sound. It's like a harp string in my mind. My father, he did that with cards. That's it. You remind me of my father when I last saw him. When I was a little girl. Oh, maybe we better just sat down here. Everybody's staring at you. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I'll be glad to sit down with you, Brazos John. Well, what's you drinking? I... Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean that. Oh, yes. I'll have a drink with you. Mm. Did you ever have one before? No, never. Oh. Hey, Pedro, come here. Yeah, I'm coming, Brazos. Say, your papa was handy with cards, huh? Well, I wasn't supposed to know it, but everyone knew he was a professional gambler in New York. You see, I lived with my three aunts in Vermont. Uh, that was one of them you saw in the lobby. Mm-hmm. Well, does Nephi Thatcher you know about your pop? Oh, yes, of course. That's why he's been so particular that my aunts brought me up just right and rode herd on me. What will it be, brothers? Blame for me. Something soft for the lady. See. Si. They, uh, they serve good lemon squash here, ma'am. That suits you. Well, I'll take whatever you're taking. Make you two lemon squashes, Pedro. Right away, Brazos. When I said drinks, I didn't mean actual drinks. That wouldn't be right at all. Your bridegroom would know it when you kissed him. Oh, but I could use sassafras bark. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, where did you hear about sassafras bark? My father used it whenever he came up to Vermont to visit me. Oh, I see. And whatever he done was right, huh? Well, of course it was. I'm beginning to think that there's something about Nephi Thatcher's wedding that ain't gonna be all rosy. There you are, folks. The lemon squashes. Yeah. Well... Here's to you, honey. Here's to you, Brasses. Where is she? I tell you, I knew that girl who was here tonight. Hey, Brasses. Patches, hunting around in the lobby. Now let him see if that fool's drinking with his bride, Brasses. Better get that girl out of here. Well, I'm not ashamed. Well, nevertheless, you better get on out of here. No, wait now. You can't let him see you walking out of the casino. Hey, he's heading this way, brother. Got that killer with him, Martin Jack and shotgun guard. Well, let him come. Wait now, just wait. You can't reach that door and back. Better get into Hooper's house tent. Right in here. I want that young lady. Where is she? Mr. Thatcher. She ain't been in here. Her aunt said she came here. One of the Indian mozos saw her come in. Kind of a roundabout way of tracking, ain't it, Mr. Thatcher? A man and an Indian? She was seen in one of the booths drinking with Brazos John. Well, if I find the Indian that told you that wizard, Mr. Thatcher, he's gonna wish he was born a gal, baby. Say you, damn. Picking up those empty glasses. See? 
Who did you serve those drinks to? Well, just to one of our hurrah girls on a sheep herder, Mr. Thatcher. Maybe with one of your own sheep hands. Well, well I guess her aunt made a mistake. Susie Kimball wouldn't dare come into a place like this. Her aunt would punish her. Come on, Martin, let's get out of here. Of oh, course. While you're in here, don't you want to smile at the bar, Mr. Thatcher? You aren't talking to me, are you? Maybe I'm talking to a fence post. But uh, I know something about this girl you're hunting for. You mean you've seen her? I saw her crossing the street to the general store. The general store? Button, go over and see if she's there. Yeah, I'll talk to her aunt. All right, boys, let's have some music. Well, you sure sawed off a good trick, Brazos, inviting Nephi Thatcher's bride to have a drink with her. You're stacking up a hand pretty fast, ain't you, Hope? When you can't see near a card. I can see one card. Her eyes shining when she looked at you. Oh, she just liked the way I cascaded the deck. A harp string, she called it. Out of the past. That's just it, Brazos. There's something in her past. Maybe her aunt's hog tying her. And you look like the way out. She's like that young kid, Dink Huckins, you worked a spell on a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Just what is it that makes these young mavericks come to you, Brazos? Like critters going to a salt lake. <laughs> well... I'll tell her I'm just a low-down sippy cat underneath, Hulk. Well, she won't believe you. Well, then I'll show her these here notches on both of them. No, guns. no. It won't make it worse. No, I'm just asking you, Brazos, as a favor. Don't go near her again. Well, I'll go explain to her, Hulk. I'll tell her I've got to kill somebody. Cinder, I fear you haven't done a very good job bringing up Susie. Oh, Nephi, I can't understand where she's gone. She's apparently the same wild, headstrong child she was when I last saw her. Oh, no, no, she's changed since then, Nephi. My sisters and I have changed her. But I can't forget her eyes. Back in Vermont, everybody remarked about the devil in Susie's eyes. We worked that devil out of her, Nephi. Hard work, that's what it was. We've made her fit to be your wife. Well, I only hope Susie will know what it means to be a frontier wife. There'll be little chance for play out on my ranch. She doesn't know what play means, Nephi. We've seen to that. We've even made her forget her father. Whatever her father was, I love her. I'm willing to forgive that she's a gambler's daughter. She ain't over to the general store, Mr. Thatcher. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Now, where can she be? Well, if you want my opinion, Mom, I think them folks in the cantina was hornswoggling us from the store. Oh. You're right, Mutton Jack. She must be there drinking in good timing. Follow me and keep your gun loose. If they lie to me... There's sure going to be some punishment dealt out here. And with this... I wouldn't unholster that iron just yet, Mr. Thatcher. It'll take more than just two of us to talk to that bunch of horse thieves. They've got the girl I'm going to marry hidden in there. I'll do some rectifying no matter how many. Oh, stop this talk of gunfighting. Here comes Susie now. Yes. Out of the dance hall. Oh, Nephi. I've been waiting for you. Susie, you. And that dance hall... Well, I was just having my fortune told in the palmist's booth. You don't seem glad to see me, Nephi. Why, um, why, of course I'm glad. I thought I was angry. But seeing you after all these years, I'm not angry. I'm overcome. You've grown up to be a lovely woman, Susie. Aren't you going to kiss him, Susie? Oh, we'd better postpone that when there's not such a crowd looking on. Nephi was late because he had some business. His wool clip, he calls it. $20,000. Now, you better business. get ready now. We're leaving for the ranch at once. I've engaged a preacher to marry us tomorrow. Came all the way from Mule City. hundred miles. Well, I'll, um, I'll be ready in a moment. Oh, Mr. Durango. Oh, yeah? I, uh, I've got to say goodbye. Oh, well, leaving so soon, Miss Susan? Yes, and I want to thank you for the best time I've had since I was a little girl. Well, good luck. And may it always be roses. And goodbye, Brazos John. Adios, Susanna. Susanna? Why, that's what my father used to call me. I'm kind of sorry I ain't going to see that little bride again. Susanna. <laughs> she liked that, didn't she? I told you she was loco over your brothers. 
Lucky the bridegroom came along just in time. Hey, Hawk. Hmm? You ought to hear this. A mule skinner just rode in, said the bridal party was being followed by some riders. Uh, Salty-looking characters, he says they look like. Tracking a wedding party? What sort of a game is that? Patcher had a big money crop. He's taking it to pay off his shearing crew. Everybody knows that. Why do you know they're tracking them, Chuck? Well, instead of keeping on the wagon trail, they cut up to the bench and was heading along parallel. Same as coyotes will follow the trail herd. Huh? If they wanted to pass them, why didn't they stick to the road, I'm asking you? Well, I'm asking you, why didn't the mule skinner tell the town marshal? Because he freights up and down that trail, and he can't afford to squeal on the bad bunch. You mean he knew it was a bad bunch riding? Well, one of them had a bandaged head where his ear was shot off a couple of weeks ago. Elgato. Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't know anything about it, Hawk. I'm just repeating what the mule skinner told me. Yeah, yeah. Brazos, I guess you and me better saddle up. You mean I'm going to see that little bride again? Well, I thought you said that... Well, let's saddle up, Hawk. Well, hey, see, you better get some more riders, Hawk. I don't want any posse kicking up a lot of dust. Come on, Brazos. We'll ride. We'll ride, son. I'll ride alongside. With her in the buckboard, I'll ride high. <laughs> As we top this divide, you can see my sheep, don't you see? Miles and miles of it stretching into the purple. It's the biggest graze in this part of the country, Mom. Oh, but everything is so hot and dry. Oh, don't say that, Aunt Crescenda. The air is clear as crystal. It's not like the heat down east. Oh, and look at those desert flowers. Oh, what are the red ones on the cactus? Oh, I don't know the names. Stillery and grass that count for sheep. Them red ones is ocotillo. Oh. Small yellow flowers, creosote. It always means bad soil wherever you find creosote. Oh, but the yellow's gorgeous. Ah, oh, but wait until we get up into the junipers. That's where my ranch is. Where you can breed God's own air. <laughs> this is devil's country. Whoa! Oh, 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 what is it? Bandits! <laughs> Sounds like we got here kind of late, don't it, Hall? Maybe a little late. Let's leave our horses in this brush and have a look see. Yeah. Right. Now, keep under this mesquite matting, brother, so they don't see us crawling up. Yeah. Safe as a doodlebug under a jug, ain't we, son? I can see him now. Crawl up next to me so you can see from under the mesquite mat. Yeah. Well, I reckon we ain't too late. There's four of them. Thatcher and his foreman and the two women folk between those boulders. Oh, they picked a pretty good spot. Uh-huh. See anything you'll get, old boy? Uh, see a lot of them crawling up. But they can't get up too close to those boulders. Wait till I study on this. Hmm. Pretty neat setup. Well, how about just picking them off, Hawk, one at a time till we count? Uh, see, there's seven of them. I can get them all. There's more than that. Half a dozen crawling up on the other side. Well, you cut down on that bunch. I'll get this seven on my side. Now, wait, Brazos. None of your Odeo stuff. That girl's only too willing to call you her hero. But I can pick them off without marrying a man seeing my gun flash. I'm way back here under this mosquito mat. Hmm? There. How you like that one? And that one. <laughs> Pretty slick gunplay, Brazos. They didn't even turn to look up at us. Yeah. You want me to call my shots, Hulk? Here goes for that umbre running to the next rocky. Well, I'll be a Santa Pete sister. It's a wall of pie India. Sure, curl the hammer. Now, give me a chance, will you, brother? Go on. Go on. It's your deal. Yeah. Uh, that one behind the red rock. And the short barrel gent crawling on his stomach. Still on his stomach, but he ain't crawling. We sure are having us a good time, ain't we? Oh. Oh, not so fast. I don't know who's hitting them. We'll take turns. That's my turn now. Susie, I, I can't stand it. I'll go mad. Stop, whimpering for Cindy and pray. I'm holding them off on this side and... They aren't getting any closer than the button, you notice. Oh, don't move, Uncle Peter. <laughs> Nothing can touch us behind this rock. Uh, Nephi, can I have a gun? Nonsense. My future wife fighting with a gun? 
You stay where you are and pray. We're praying, you devils out there. You hear us? And we're winning. Let man and angel sing. Glory, land, and honor to the Almighty. There goes another and another stretched out, boss. Can't understand it. You can't understand it when the Lord of hosts is on our side. There's another singing to his knees. Brothers, we are treading where the saints are trying. But I can't understand it, boss. There's two men fell kicking, and I didn't hit them. It's the Lord of hosts that hit him. Susie, you load up that gun. Hand it over. Oh, just one shot, Nephi, I just one. Good gracious, alive. How did that happen? You got him. And I got another one, Nephi. What's the matter, Mountain Jack? Are you hit? That one got me, boss. Oh. I, I, it, it's my arm. Oh, kind of cracked it. Oh, he is hurt. Look at the blood. Oh, oh. Oh. And Nephi, she's not bad. She won't move. Oh, how could she be hit sitting where she was? Oh, a ricochet could have hit her, boss. Mountain Jack, watch your side. I can't, boss. My arm. I can't fight no more. Oh, I'll take his place, Nephi. No, you won't. Help you around. Her face is gray white. She may be dying. Oh, I present. Now open your eyes. Well, give me your handkerchief, Susie. Got to have something white. My handkerchief? You mean you're giving up? You've got to give up the money, that's all. They can have it. Give that handkerchief to me, I tell you. Oh, no, no. We're winning, Nephi, and you're quitting. You're out there. El Gato or whoever is there. I'm waving this white cloth. See it? Oh, there's nobody there. They're crawling to their horses. They're saddling up. There's only four of them left, and they're cinching up. I can't understand it. It's a miracle. Unless somebody was helping us. That's what I figured, boss. I couldn't see their flash, but somebody was in that mesquite clump up in that drawer. Nonsense. Hello. What can this mean? What are you looking at, boss? There's a pinto out here. Can this be possible? Yeah. I see it, boss. It's Brazos John's pinto. The only horse that wasn't gun-shy in the whole setup. Brazos John's? You mean he was the one who was picking them up? Brazos John's safe? It was a lot of hosts save us. Or the devil. Maybe that's what you better call them, boss. Susie, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to thank you. I forbid it. I'll thank you myself, not send my wife. I'm not your wife yet, Nephi, Thatcher. Susie, come back here. Susie, I'll come back. They all piling on their Bronx hawk. Should we fog down on Ah, it's only the wounded ones dragging themselves to their saddles. Let them go, brothers. Mm -hmm. Maybe I ought to go on down and tell them folks that everything is hunky-dory. Well, have that bride fall on your neck? Don't be hunting trouble. I ain't hunting trouble. It's hunting me. If I would... Well, here comes a bride. All right, right come now. On. Come on, we better saddle up. What? But we got to tell her she's safe, son. Uh, look, I'm just asking you. Let me talk to her alone. What for? Well, I want to say goodbye to her. But I told... All right, brothers. I know the way you feel about her. Same way she feels about you. Oh, darn your horny. I'd fall going out of here. I'll be in the mesquite within air range. Maybe within gun range, Brazos. Oh, Brazos, John. Wait for me. Oh, hello, honey. Oh, I, I saw your horse, Brazos, and I, I saw the peak of your hat poking up through the mesquite. I, um, I came to thank you. What for? For routing that band of renegades. Nephi Thatcher thought it was the Almighty himself that was routing them. But I know the truth. The renegades knew it, too. What old truth? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's like Nephi quoting from the scripture. If Brazos John is with us, who can be against us? <laughs> Somebody sure run a cool deck on you. It is Hawk Durango routed them coyotes, not me. You mean Hawk Durango came with you? Sure, he's right in the mesquite right behind me. He done all the shooting. Well, what were you doing? Oh, just playing myself a game of solitary. Like I'm doing now. You better go on back. Tell your husband to be that you're safe. Oh, it's the harp string again. Go on back. I'm not going back, Francis John. What do you mean? Nephi Thatcher's a coward. He wanted to give up the fight and give up his money right when we were winning. You got him stacked up all wrong, honey. Here in the West, men give up anything if their women folks is in danger. He done right. He's anything but a coward. It was generous play, him giving up his wool clip money. He's afraid you'd get hit, you and an old lady down yonder. But I'm not going back anyway. Well, where are you going to? Back there where that music is playing. Oh, can't you hear it? I just caught it in the wind far away off across the sage plain. That's just your blood pumping. That's what you're hearing. It ain't in your ears. It's in your blood. Yes, it's in my blood, Brazos John. I want to go back. With you. Now, you just listen. You're going to marry with a good husband. 
Fletcher's a good man. He's well fixed. He's got a good home ready for you. And he's worked hard making a fit place for a gal like you to live in. Oh, a home where they'll be singing hymns all the time. That's all right. Them hymn singers taking all in all from shoulder to hock is generally better than most of us. Uh, us horned toads, I mean. But I can't go back to him, Brazos. After what you've done, I, I can't go back. Not when I'm in love with someone else. You ain't in love with nobody. But you'll be in love with him when you get to know him. Me now. You don't know me. Why, just last week I beefed a man cold and the whole town was riding shotgun on me. Oh, I heard about that, but they found out they were wrong. Now, Marshall didn't want no net type party. That's how I got out. <laughs> and they thought that I was reformed. They didn't know it. I had my gang all ready for a hold-up job. The kind we tried to play today. You get a hold-up job? Oh, I don't believe you, Brazos. But did you think I was shooting down my own partners today? <laughs> That's a good joke, sister. I staged this hole up, but it didn't work on account of Hawk and Rango. He cleaned out the whole bunch, and then he arrested me. Arrested you? I, I don't believe a word of it. Durango's in the brush right behind me, holding two guns on my back. I asked him if I couldn't say goodbye alone to you. He agreed. All right, Hawk. I said goodbye. Can I... I can't believe it. You better try hard to believe, ma'am. Everything Brazos said is true. You see, I got both guns on him. Oh, it's the whir of those cards, like a harp string. The way he cascades those cards, ma'am, you ought to know it's a professional shuffle. He does it that way when he deals from the bottom of the deck. You mean he cheats at cards? Call me that, sister. What's these here aces fall out? Ace club, spade, hearts. A card sheet and a bandit. And I kill and I cut. I can do everything there is, except something good. If I try something good, I'd just drown in my own sweat. That's right. It's just plump cold as bad. You'd better go on back to your folks. Yes, I... I guess I'd better go back to Nephi. Well, I... I'm thanking you, Hawk Durango, for saving us. And my husband will thank you, too. Glad to help you out. Forget it. Forget both of us. Brazos and me. And I'm thanking you, Brazos, John, for one thing. For showing me Nephi Thatcher's a good man. He's a refuge in strength. I need him. I need him so much. Goodbye, girl. Uh, Brazos, when she tells Thatcher you were the top hand in this raid... I don't think she'll tell him, Hall. No, I figure you're right. She won't tell on you. Did you hear that, Hawk? Hmm? She said, Go with God, Brazos John. Well, I didn't hear anything. I saw her turn, but she didn't say a word, Brazos. Oh. Then it was only in my head or in my blood. Hello, Brazos John. I must be dreaming it. But I'm going to answer anyhow. Adios, Susanna. Adios. You have just heard Hawk Durango, starring Elliot Lewis with Barton Yarborough as Brazos John, a feature production of the Columbia Network. CBS invites you to tune in next week at this time when Hawk Durango is suspected of murder and Chuckalock Jones saves the day with his remarkable hearing. Hawk Durango is written by Kenneth Perkins and directed by William N. Robeson for CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>